Hello, everybody, and good day. This is Fred with Tech Talk and Wentworth CCTV of New England, and we are coming at you today with a video on how you can install a client software uh, for your PC with the Capture Advanced series uh, hardware that is now available through ADI. This Capture Advanced product is becoming very popular as it is NDAA compliant. As we all know, based on the John McCain Act, um, Heek Vision and DAWA uh, are not NDAA compliant and they cannot be installed in federal government owned locations such as courthouses, schools, anybody that gets funds from the government. I even did a, uh, a plant that manufactures aircraft for the government um, and they now need to be NDAA compliant as well. Um, so this hardware is a good solution. The phone app, the Capture ADV phone app is readily available in both the Google and iPhone app stores. You can download it. It's awesome P2P. It's very much like HIK Connect and Dawa's DMSS where you can just scan the QR code um, of the hardware and enter the password and it connects to the phone app beautifully. However, there is not a readily available um, client software uh, for your PC. I had to call the manufacturer and get that CMS. Uh, you can download this to your PC uh, and it's actually a very awesome tool. It's a little tricky to install, so we're going to cover it right now. All right, everybody, what do you say? Let's get into the meat and potatoes. Before we do, you know the drill. There is a subscribe button in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. Please click that and subscribe to our channel if you have not yet done so. That way you can be notified when we upload future content. Also, like the video and, as always, leave comments. A lot of these videos come from subscriber and viewer questions and comments, so we certainly appreciate those. But, yes, to download the uh, client software, for the Capture Advanced series, the NDAA compliant hardware uh, available through ADI, um, you will need to cut and paste this link. It's in my address bar. It's also in the description to this video. Also in the description to this video um, are links to order uh, the Capture Advanced Dome IP camera and Bullet IP camera, okay? These have uh, micro SD card slots for um, storage, you don't need an NVR to use these IP cameras. You just plug them into a PoE switch, connect them to the internet, and uh, you're good to go. Uh, but they have to be ordered from a dealer um, or through ADI directly. So there's links in the video to purchase this equipment as well. Um, but yes, this video is about the client software and how to uh, get it and download it. Um, and there's your answer to that. It's this link, and you can cut and paste that from the description in the video. Okay. Once you hit enter, when that link uh, is highlighted, it will go to your downloads file. And this is where a lot of people get last, lost. It says capture ADV CMS uh, version 1.7.157. Uh, it's not commonly downloaded, okay? So what you're gonna do here, there's three dots beside the delete bin, okay? There's three dots, you're gonna click that and you're gonna tell it to keep the file, okay? And it's gonna say, make sure you trust Capture Advanced Software before you open this. Microsoft Defender couldn't verify if this file is safe because it isn't commonly downloaded. So Microsoft doesn't recognize the software because it's new, right? Um, that's fine. You're gonna hit the Show More. There's a little Dropbox beside Show More. If you hit that, again, you'll see Keep Anyway. Once you click that, it will download the software onto your PC, okay? It's downloading the file from the cloud, um, and it will put an executable file that you can open uh, in your downloads bin. So let's see how long this takes here. It says it's downloaded. It should pop up. If it does not pop up, you can go to your uh, your files, okay, which is the folder here on a Windows computer. And if you go to downloads right here, all right, it looks like the download is done. Um, you could see the capture advanced icon. Um, there is a box to click here on the bottom to agree to their terms of service, okay. 
when you click that, this setup box uh, should light up. There it goes, so we can click on it, okay? And depending on your internet speed, this may or may not be a quick download. Um, right now, nobody else is on the internet here, so it looks like it's going pretty smoothly. I did install this in preparation for this video on another PC uh, while the boys were upstairs gaming, um, and it took a little bit longer. So we'll let this complete uh, the is installation process. All right, it looks like our installation has completed. We can go ahead and launch the program. All right, and this is your login interface. As you can see, the default password is admin, as always. The default password is admin. And I would click auto login. That way, just like HIK Connect or the IBMS 4200 or 4500 and Dawa's Smart PSS, um, it will automatically log into the program once you double click the icon. You really don't need to secure um, the icon. This is not, doesn't have to be the password of the NVR um, or the camera. Okay, this is just for the software. So we'll hit login and you'll see the interface is very slick. Um, it does remind me of um, Dawa's Smart PSS in a way. Um, we'll primarily be concerned with Live View and Playback, right? Those are the two things we use the most. There is a device config tool where you can set up motion detection and format your hard drive and go into the encoding and OSD settings for the cameras. Very cool. But the first thing we're going to have to do is add our camera, right? It's not in here yet. So we're going to go to devices, okay? And if you are on the same network as the recorder or the IP camera, you can auto search your network. It will scan your network and find any capture advanced uh, hardware on your network and automatically add it. We are doing this remotely as a demo. So we're going to hit add device. Okay. We want to manually add it. Okay. And you can name your device, whatever you want. We're going to put demo. Um, you'd put the location of the device, obviously. Then you can tell it if it's an IP camera, DVR, PTZ, NVR, uh, fisheye camera, whatever the heck you have. We have an NVR, so I'm going to pick NVR. For protocol, we want to pick P2P. That is importing the device to this client software by its QR code, okay? And again, you can find the QR code on the box of the product, okay? Or you can log into the camera and get it in, in the platform settings. I actually took a picture of the QR code for this NVR and stored it on my computer so we can get it that way as well. Or you can manually type it, okay? So I'm going to hit this, and we're going to go into my downloaded files. I'm going to pick my QR code. And as you can see, it imported the serial number by itself, okay? And then we can put in our username and password. Just like that. And then we'll hit add. And it will take a second. It will say offline initially. Um, in about 10 or 15 seconds, it will switch the status from offline to online. Um, and you'll be able to connect to your device. There we go. It says it's online. Okay. Um, this is a client's. NVR, so we're not going to go through all the pictures and stuff like that, but I will show you how the interface works. Live view. Click on that. It'll bring up your demo, and then you'll see the cameras are online, okay? We have seven cameras here. Um, so if we wanted to look in the backyard, for instance, we could click on backyard, and sure enough, you would see that camera. Okay, just like that. Um, we could get away from live view. And uh, we could do playback now. Okay. To get to this com uh, command prompt, you just hit the plus button. We're in the main menu. If we want to do playback, we'll again pick the backyard. So we're not showing any of this uh, great person's home. And when you click that, again, you can pick the date that we have video for, uh, and it will play video. Okay. actually inside the garage but you get the idea we can switch to 
backyard here. Check the date. Here you go. Backyard. Um, playback, as you can see, is pretty fluent. There's, there's no uh, delays and freezing and stuff like that. Um, you can change encoding here with the stream type. Um, but yeah, again, it's very similar to what Heekvision offers with its IBMS um, or HIK Connect, and it's also uh, similar to what DAWA has with the Smart PSS. We will have a later class um, on downloading played back video and um, some of the enhancements you can make with live view video. Um, and those are certainly videos for another day. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. We'll see you in the field.